Hey everyone! The thought of taking the step one exam has you acting like a disgruntled pelican? Have a seat and watch this vid. I got you. In this video, I will share information I believe every medical student should be aware of when tackling the USMLE step one exam. First off, Sketchy. For those of you that aren't aware of Sketchy, I urge you to look into their website now. Link in the description. Of all the relationships I've had in med school, Sketchy is in fact Bay. It has been my ride or die and has come through for me time and time again. Let me share just how effective Sketchy is. It's been over two years since I intensely watched and reviewed all of the Sketchy micro and farm videos and I still remember every scene vividly. As a fourth year, when pimped by attendings on farm, I'm oftentimes able to confidently answer them because of Sketchy. I recommend getting a subscription and starting Sketchy Micro and Farm early. As a second year, I aim to watch two to five videos every day, depending on the length. And of course, I would fact check and supplement with first aids farm sections. UWorld is another resource that you should take advantage of early on. On exam day, you will see that the step one exams look a lot like UWorld. Over the course of my second year and dedicated study period for step one, I aimed to go through the question bank two times. What will make your question review even more fruitful is to go over your incorrects in the month leading up to your exam. Master those weak areas and use the UWorld's flashcard feature, which I liked using during while reviewing um, for the exam. I found that it was really useful for the table and figures that were provided in the explanation of every question. I would just copy and paste that into the flashcards and review them at least twice a week. Another important thing to incorporate into your step one study routine is NBMEs. I know it's painful to have to fork out even more cash to take a freaking exam as if med school tuition isn't expensive enough, but paying for at least two NBMEs provides you with a rough estimate score. It will give you an idea of how you will do on the actual exam. I and many of my classmates actually found it fairly predictive of our actual step one exam scores. Okay, now that we've reviewed that, I wanna share topics I think are extremely high yield for the step one exam. First off, we have anatomy. The combination of anatomy and embryology can make up as much as 15% of the exam. I found a PDF a while ago that presented 100 high yield gross anatomy concepts. Every anatomy concept that showed up on my exam is somewhere in that PowerPoint. I also asked my friends to skim through it and they shared the same sentiment. This is gold. Check it out and review it if you have time. The examples I have listed are some of the high yield anatomical areas you should master. Click on the link in the description for an exhaustive list. Okay, and here is a list of topics that I that came up time and time again on step one. I'll give you guys five seconds to screenshot or take a picture or just breathe. <laughs> I know just thinking about the exam is stressful AF, but trust and believe in yourself. You've made it this far in med school, this is just one hurdle to jump through for that degree. Biostatistics is another area you shouldn't neglect for the step one exam. I felt like reviewing first aid and doing the UWorld questions sufficiently prepared me for the exam. And the topics I believe are extremely high yield. And there are several videos on YouTube that are great sources to review biostats. One of my favorites is Dr. Randy Neal's video. Search biostatistics summary step one on YouTube and you should be able to find it. Again, that's biostatistics summary step one on YouTube. Um, last but certainly not least is biochemistry. I think the biochemistry section of first aid is long and at times very, very dry but try to go through it a few times. I found the topics listed below to be the highest yield. Take a moment to take a picture or screenshot. Okay, that's all folks. Hope this helps. Stay safe.